Hey, Holly Organizer here. Welcome to Holly's Habitude. And today I want to talk about accountability. Who is your encourager? Who is your uh, cheerleader? When you set goals, please tell me that you're setting goals. When you set goals, whether it's to clean your, um, declutter your house or your head or your heart, whatever your goal is to quit smoking, to learn how to do something, you need somebody to help you, to hold you accountable. I, for instance, I'm a list person, so for me, I've made the habit of making a list and it's almost as if I'm in a job and my boss would hand me a piece of paper and say, these are the things I expect you to do today and I wouldn't leave until I get it done. That's how my paper kind of holds me accountable because I'm a list person. But oftentimes we need a cheerleader and a real live person to to let us know, and it has to be a Christian person, relative, friend, pastor, coach, whoever it is, but it's gotta have somebody, you have to have somebody with the same values that you have, and that knows the truth. Because I'll tell you what, when I come out to organize somebody's home, it always becomes a bigger mess before it gets better. And I know that because I've done it before, and because the word tells me, that you get your spring after winter, right? And when we're out there and we're pulling everything out of your, say your kitchen, I guarantee halfway through you're gonna go, whoa, you just created, Holly, what are you doing? It's worse now than when you came. That's how it works, right? It's sowing and reaping, nothing is instantaneous and we all need somebody to remind us of that. It has to be Christian because everyone else outside there says you deserve it right now right now right now right now you should have it you should do it why wait nobody else does that's not true and that's not how it works there are consequences which aren't popular out with the secular world so you need somebody to say look if you don't finish this there are consequences and you need a cheerleader to go look what happens if you do because for whatever reason we seem to um, accomplish things more to avoid pain than to gain pleasure so it's real important that you have somebody to remind you of the consequences of the goal if you don't stop or if you don't start whatever your goal is so um if you have somebody fantastic use them tell them what your plans are so they can say hey did you accomplish this this and this like you told me you were going to do and if not we are going to be having the webinars very very soon and i will be your cheerleader because i know from reading the word that it says you are clothed in strength and dignity. You can laugh at the days to come. Yeah, that's what your creator says about you. And who knows more about you than your creator? No matter what it is on this earth, whether it's, um, I don't know, a cup, a new invention, a car, the space shuttle, a pencil, nobody knows more about that product than the creator, right? Right. The user doesn't know more about the product than the creator. Let me tell you who your user is. Your user is the devil. Don't listen to him because you can do it. The Bible tells us too, you can capture your thoughts. You can capture your thoughts and hold them prisoner to be obedient to Christ so that you can be clothed in strength and dignity and laugh at the days to come. So when you're going after somebody to be your cheerleader, make sure they're a Christian, they know the truth, they can tell you, don't give up. Bible says it's sowing and reaping. Don't give up. Just because it doesn't look like success doesn't mean it's not gonna pop open at any minute. Yeah, cool. Have a super day. Remember, less mess everywhere, less stress. And God bless. Bye.